Hello everyone, welcome to the Market Outlook for the week. Gaurang Shah here from Jujit Financial Services. As I speak to all of you all this Monday morning at around about approximately 11.30 a.m. Markets uh, opened up on a positive bias, uh, did lose some grounds and uh, has again recouped uh, the lost ground and trading in green. To give you the levels on the Sensex Nifty Bank Nifty Rupee Dollar and Crude Oil, well, the Sensex is up about 240 points. 66,400 is the level on Sensex. Nifty is up about 70 points. 19,715 is the level on Nifty. And Bank Nifty up about 100 points. 45,570 is the level on uh, Bank Nifty. Rupee Dollar uh, weakness on the Rupee. Uh, we had seen strength the last week, but uh, all that uh, lost the ground and the current level on the rupee dollar. Well, one dollar is equal to 82.25 uh, rupees to a dollar. And Brent and NYMEX, surprisingly, surprisingly uh, there has been tremendous run up on the crude oil front uh, in the international market, commodity market. Brent is trading at about 84.57 dollars to a barrel, and NYMEX is trading at about 80.29 uh, dollars to a barrel. Well, uh, it is a concern for all those economies and countries which are largely dependent on import of crude oil like India, China, etc. And this bump up is because of certain data points and news flows that we had in the from the international market. Uh, remains to be seen uh, uh, whether there is cool off on fallback of certain news flows. But unfortunately, uh, elevated levels are witnessed on the energy basket that is crude oil, both uh, Brent and MX. On the Markets coming back to it, well, we did see some uh, choppiness, volatility correction last week. Uh, Friday, uh, the correction was deeper, but we managed to regain the lost ground. And though we closed lower, but we did recover the lost ground. Uh, this week, the outlook remains that uh, the activity is going to be replicating like what we saw last week. Choppiness and volatility will be the order of the day. But more importantly, I think lower levels buying is visible, uh, both from the, uh, some days from the domestic institutions, some days from the uh, foreign financial institutions. And on the earnings front, well, we are in the middle of the first quarter earnings. We have, by and large, we've seen uh, large cap companies report numbers up until now. Now and going forward, it will be select some large cap and mostly uh, mid cap and small cap numbers would be visible. Uh, whatever we've seen up till now, again, like we mentioned earlier, there has not been any great disappointments, barring one or two sectors and a few companies within those one or two sectors. So expect this momentum to uh, uh, stay intact on fallback of earning visibility. Uh, news flows from uh, US uh, that came in uh, last week and overnight was supportive and we did see the global markets recover uh, quite smartly. Likewise, in our own uh, equity markets, we've seen some recovery. Going forward, uh, you will see some days of correction, some days of retarded correction. And in some days when the correction is larger, the next day you will see some kind of recovery happening. And not to forget, friends, uh, it is not a huge or a deep correction that we witnessed. The levels where we are trading at 17, uh, 19,700 on the Nifty is not much, much lower or deeper than what we saw the all-time high. All-time high, if you recollect, last week was 19,991.85. Uh, 20,000 mark was missed by about 8 points. So I don't think anybody has to complain with this kind of a correction. Given the level at which Sensex Nifty and Bank Nifty is trading, these kind of corrections would be the order of the day. So my humble request would be that don't look at point-wise correction. Convert that point-wise correction into percentage and look at the level of where Sensex and Nifty is. That will give you a much better and a clear idea rather than looking at just the point wise correction, which may possibly look large in terms of figures, but in terms of percentage, it is not as much. Having said that, I think uh, a lot will depend upon what the policies unfold. And of course, in terms of uh, state level uh, elections that are there. And of course, by the time we say goodbye to this year and enter next year, possibly the uh, uh, news flows on the uh, general election front would definitely be picking up steam. Having said that, uh, we always mentioned that uh, corrections are a great time to invest into strong, fundamentally strong companies, earnings visibility and strong management commentary. 
and along with that we had also mentioned last week that this is the time wherein you can possibly uh, introspect in terms of uh, what stocks you have in your portfolio and according to us possibly this is the most appropriate time in wherein you can identify uh, non performers under performers sideway performers in your portfolio and churn them uh, into better stock investment ideas what i what we are trying to tell you is that with the rally that we've seen in the mid and small cap uh, this is the perfect opportunity to uh, you know uh, uh, churn your portfolio get out the under performers or sideway performers and uh, allocate a larger capital or investments to your better performing stocks in your portfolio with that idea in mind friends we give you two investment ideas uh, every time that we interact with you uh, today also we have got two investment ideas the first one is from the private sector banks and uh, this name has been in the news for the mergers that happened one of the largest merger of two strong entities in the indian equity stock market hdfc limited bank hdfc limited got merged into hdfc bank and now it has become one of the strongest balance sheet and one of the largest balance sheet in the financial universe so and the reason why we are uh, mention of course we would have mentioned this bank in our earlier conversation but we thought it is prudent to mention this name once again because after looking at the first quarter earnings and the merger positivities we have increased our price, price target on hdfc bank so first investment idea is hdfc bank the second one is from the automobile space again uh, not once but i think we would have mentioned this name a couple of times uh, the, this name also post the earnings uh, uh, we have upgraded our price targets upward and the name is ashok leland uh, stellar set of numbers for the first financial quarter uh, uh, this year this financial year and our anticipation is with the demand in the commercial vehicle segment both light medium and heavy commercial especially the multi xl high tonnage vehicles is going to work substantially keeping in mind the robust e-commerce demand and the demand from fleet owners improvement in the logistic sector via policies that have been implemented by the government the turnaround time of a commercial vehicle has you know come down to a great extent so we believe that this is a and of course the scrappage policy friends which has been announced so our sense is that both these names hdfc bank limited and ashok leland with the first quarter earnings this financial year looks extremely well poised in terms of future growth coming through and thereby the target price is also getting revised upwards mind you uh, these are fundamentally strong investment ideas from a long term point of view you need to have at least year year and a half plus kind of time horizon if you decide to invest in both these names and try to uh, stagger your investment don't put all your money at one time start with a small humble beginning 25 30% whatever you feel is appropriate according to your risk appetite and then possibly when you get corrections like we saw last week if it happens in the future to come by those times would be great uh, opportunities to add to both these investments in a staggered manner thank you very much for your patience hearing and all again see you next week till then please do take care of yourself bye bye